as you auscultate, what are you going to hear right away? What does everybody have in their heart, hopefully, if it's working? An S1 and an S2. In obstruction, like we have here, you're expecting a systolic murmur. So if you are predicting what you're going to hear, you think I'm going to hear a systolic murmur heard loudest over the aortic valve, which is second intercostal on the right. Perfect. So go ahead and have a listen and see if you can hear. So you've got the controller, very good. Locate the position. So here's your sternum. There's your sternal angle. And then just opposite that, turn a wee bit. There you go. So whenever you have your stethoscope on the patient's chest, you need to have your fingers on the carotid artery. So have a listen there and see if you can hear it radiating. Now, would you like to listen in the other areas? Very good, so now you're in the pulmonary area. Now you take the stethoscope down the left sternal edge to the tricuspid area. And now you can put it over the mitral area. Should be, yeah, perfect. You should barely be able to hear the murmur now. So you can work out what you're going to auscultate before you actually put your stethoscope on the patient's chest. And that is by far the best way to do it. Otherwise, you're faced with a murmur and you don't know what it is that you're dealing with. When you actually auscultate, you're just confirming. You're not trying to make a diagnosis at that point. That's the wonderful thing about Harvey. He does everything he's supposed to do. So that's why we love him.